Hello, world. Acrophobia, or fear of heights, is one of the most common phobias. But uh -huh. this virtual reality therapy hopes to help. Sweating again. <laughs> Chan here can confidently fly a plane. But when it comes to heights in general, it's a different story. Bridges. If I drove to Wales, I went round the long way as opposed to going over the bridge. I just don't like open heights. But and I can jump in an aeroplane and fly an aeroplane. That's, that's, that's a different, a completely different environment. In my head, it is anyway, that's for sure. Welcome back. Oh, God. Oh, it's dark. Um, I anxious, sweaty, nervous. Even though you've been through the process of doing this before, yeah, you still feel the same level of anxiety doing that now, or would you say it's drastically reduced? I'm way more confident. I've got much more confidence in doing it now than I than I did the first time. Went on a holiday um, with some friends. They were going on the roller coasters. I talked about this VR thing that we were doing, and they said, "Well, then you should be able to come on the ride." So, I watched my family go around and my friends go around a couple more times, and then just thought, "Well, I can do this." If you look to your left, you'll see a basket of light balls. And what I need you to do is throw the light balls down into the atrium. I think VR can treat pretty much any type of fear or phobia. So it might be, for example, fear of a cat or a spider or dogs. What VR can enable you to do is relearn that actually you're safe in the situations you feel. The beauty of VR is in fact that disconnect. When you're there, you know actually you're not really in that environment and that enables you to do things you wouldn't normally do in the real world. But all the scientific data says that the learning that you make in VR does transfer into the real world. In this program, you're going to try a series of tasks. Earlier this month, it was announced that the UK's National Health Service has invested in this idea of using virtual reality therapy to battle severe mental health issues by putting sufferers in a virtual environment they would struggle with in the real world. It's such a tricky time. This immersive approach, plus the availability of virtual therapists, could more readily provide more therapy to more people at a lower cost. At the heart of all mental health problems are difficulties interacting in the world. And with VR, we can put people back in the situations that trouble them and coach them in the best ways to think feel and behave in those situations. We've got to test it, we've got to trial, we've got to make sure things work. The potential is enormous.